Sylvia Brown, the unsinkable Sylvia Brown, is foundering in the water. I think her ship is going under, and I, I couldn't have seen a better shipwreck in all of my long career as an investigator of so-called paranormal, occult, and supernatural claims. Sylvia Brown, I've been after her for 20 years now. We used to have a little thing up on the uh, on our Swift blog. We used to have a little thing up there, a little clock, showing how many years since Sylvia Brown had promised on the Larry King show uh, that she would uh, do tests, definitive tests of her ability to talk to the dead. Are you willing to take his test? Yeah, I, whatever test it is. But you, you'd be willing to do that, right? To oh, and yeah, that. yes, I would be willing right. to do that. Or asking for guesses. To I don't want to. I don't want to even know the gender. I just want to know the name. Okay, fine. That's that's fine. That's your. I'll choice. make it even easier for you. Okay. Sylvia has agreed to your conditions. Yes. You and Sylvia will set this up. We'll use a website. We'll use my website. Uh, Sylvia Brown will take Randy up on the challenge. We'll let you know about the date and time and everything. So, as I say, for. 20 years now I've been after Sylvia, and it looks as if uh, she's rather getting her comeuppance right now. Amanda Berry is a name that you'll be familiar with and that she certainly was familiar with because during a session on the Montel Williams show years ago, remember him? He used to have integrity at one time, I believe, but uh, that's, that's quite a while ago. He uh, sort of adopted Sylvia Brown and he had her on his program regularly, once a week at least. The parents of uh, Amanda Berry appeared on the Montel Williams show, and they were told by Sylvia, oh, I'm very sorry, but your daughter is dead. Sylvia said that she had been murdered. Almost nine years ago, Amanda Berry's mom went on the Montel Williams show where resident psychic Sylvia Brown spoke of Amanda. I don't think I'll ever see her again. Yeah, in heaven, on the other side. The WMMS morning show in Cleveland reenacted the transcript. The host read the part of the psychic. I hate this when they're in water. She's not alive, honey. Well, as most of us know, and I, I'm sure Sylvia is now aware, uh, just recently, in that dreadful episode that American history will have a hard time living down, where three girls were found in this man's home, this man named Castro. Amanda Berry was one of them, alive and well. Her mother had died some years before that, in something like 2006, I think it was. Amanda Berry and the other two girls had been had been imprisoned, imprisoned at this man's home for almost 10 years, incommunicado, not in touch with the outside world at all. And Sylvia Brown had told that that grieving mother, broke her down completely, that her daughter had been killed. Sylvia Brown is a monster. She invents things off the the top of her head, very carelessly and callously. She doesn't care what effect her pronunciations have on the people that she's supposed to be serving. She gets now $800 for a 20-minute talk over the telephone with the fabulous Sylvia. Now, the James Randi Educational Foundation and myself, James Randi, have been after this woman, as I say, for over 20 years. And why hasn't somebody done something about it? Well, now Anderson Cooper has, uh, has joined our ranks in that he has come out against Sylvia. He says she just has no integrity whatsoever, and that's absolutely true. Strangely enough, there are two jagged boulders which look really misplaced because everything is trees, and then all of a sudden you've got these stupid boulders sitting there. And he could be found near He's there. near the boulders. Is he still with us? No. Well, that was uh, famous alleged psychic Sylvia Brown on the Montel Williams show in 2003, four months after Sean Hornbeck disappeared. She said that Sean Hornbeck was dead. She was wrong about that. She said a Hispanic man with dreadlocks had taken him. She was wrong. And she told Sean's grieving parents where to search for his body. 
She, of course, was wrong about that as well. As you know, Sean was found alive, not stuck between jagged boulders, but in an apartment in sub suburban St. Louis. She's a comic figure, if you're not a believer in the supernatural. But Sylvia Brown needs to be put out of business permanently. I think that can happen. And I look forward to that day. This is James Randi. Thank you.